So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video and today we're going to take a look at an updated build for Necros. Now this is sort of a balanced build so it's not really focused too much on one thing. So it's a three former build and what we're going to do with that former is add a D, a dash and then a polarity in the aura slot. Now this is up to you, I really like rejuvenation so I added a D but you can add a dash and run with something like corrosive projection, it works fine. So as I've said already, the aura I'm using is Rejuvenation because I think it fits this build perfectly. We are using Despoil, so the Secret cost health, so Rejuvenation helps with that. It also counters Slash and Toxin procs, which is a really good thing, and it just works with Necros' toolkit. Because if you find yourself low on health and surrounded by enemies, all you have to do is cast Terrify and run around for a bit while Rejuvenation heals you back up. Then for my defensive mods, I'm using Vitality and Redirection. Redirection is obviously really good because shields are awesome, they regenerate by themselves, so they're a great defensive choice. And Vitality is here to give us more of a buffer for Despoil Desecrating. And to give us more survivability, of course. The next mod is Despoil, which makes Desecrate cost health instead of energy, which is obviously really good because we have more health than energy, and it means that you can Desecrate all the time. And it also works really well with Equilibrium, which is a mod you don't see used very often. What Equilibrium does is it makes health orbs restore a little bit of energy, and energy orbs restore a little bit of health. This combined with Desecrate costing health thanks to the spoil and also Desecrate turning enemies into health orbs means that you will always have full energy because you will use some of your health to cast Desecrate which will turn an enemy into a health orb which you will pick up because you just used some of your health to cast Desecrate and thanks to Equilibrium this health orb will also restore your energy so Equilibrium is basically the best mod you can use for Necros. The next mod on the list is Natural Talent, which I feel is a must for Necros because its casting animations are pretty long. When you use, for instance, Shadows of the Dead, there is a pretty high chance that the enemies will straight up kill you before you finish casting the spell, so Natural Talent helps with that. But most importantly, Natural Talent is really damn important when it comes to desecrating. Because you only have a small window where you can desecrate a corpse before it disappears and desecrate doesn't have a 100% chance to desecrate a corpse, so sometimes you have to desecrate over and over and over again to get loot from a dead enemy. And thanks to natural talent you can desecrate much faster, so the chances of you desecrating all the corpses in a room you've just murdered are much higher. Moving on, the next mod I'm using is Fleeting Expertise, and this straight up just helps with efficiency because without any efficiency, the spoil hurts. A lot. And also, since this build doesn't have flow, we don't have a ton of energy, we only have 150 energy, so we want some efficiency so we can use our abilities more often. Next on the list is Power Range, and I'm using Stretch with Cunning Drift, and that is enough for me. Some people really like Overextended, but I don't because it cripples Strength, and even though Strength doesn't seem as important for Necros, it is. Because power strength affects the amount of targets you can fear with one terrify cast. So if you butcher power strength and then you find yourself in a shitty situation that normally would be resolved by simply casting terrify, it won't work. And since Necros isn't the tankiest frame in the game, that's not a good thing. And finally we're gonna slap on continuity, or if you have it, primed continuity to offset fleeting expertise. And this increases the duration of Shadows of the Dead and Terrify, and oh my goodness, I think I got carried away a little bit, didn't I? Yes, yes I did. So just one last thing before we go to the gameplay, you want to use Slash-based weapon on Ekros, and that's because if you manage to cut an enemy in half or cut off their arm, you can desecrate it separately, which means more loot. And also, Carrier. Because there'll be so much loot on the ground, you will miss like half of it if you don't have Carrier, so if you plan on playing on Necros and you want to desecrate, use Carrier. I think it's pretty obvious that Necros is my favorite frame and he's also my most played frame. I did a lot of research and I put a lot of thought into this build to make it as good as possible. I wanted a build that takes advantage of Necros's toolkit, not just a desecrate build. And that's exactly what this build is. It's really good at desecrating, don't get me wrong, but you can also use Terrify to either fear enemies or to debuff them with the armor debuff because Terrify also reduces the enemy armor. We didn't cripple Shadows of the Dead, which is a really good thing because it's an awesome ability that scales endlessly, and Fusero Punch is just a fun thing to do while you're reloading. And that's pretty much it for this build. I really don't know what else to say. I just love Necros, and this build makes him so versatile, so powerful and useful. It's amazing, you should definitely try it out. And before I end the video, I want to say thank you to a couple of people once again. So Mr. Hokies31 has added another Lotus Noggle to the windshield. 
Mr. Athrax Thorax, I hope I pronounced that correctly, has given me a necro snuggle, so thank you very much. I love it. And my final thanks goes to Mr. Rice on Rice for giving me a clam noggle. So thank you very much to everyone. I love them. And that's pretty much it for the video. So I thank you very much for watching once again, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.